this is uh, typically what you use for cutting pipes when you're like out in the field. Pipe just goes in here. Out in what field? Out, a field of out, pipes? Out in a field of pipes, absolutely. You don't have a field of pipes? No. Hey, YouTube. Hey. Hey guys, no box, but I got a guest. Yep. So we're gonna maybe just kind of like go free for all today. I think we're yeah. gonna go AWOL. We are gonna do Cracking Geodes mm -hmm. part two. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. And we're bringing some friends on. But we're gonna have something a little better. See, I wasn't on the last one, so. I you, cracked it myself. But you didn't consult me on getting the But geodes. I cracked it myself. You did. So I think I get a few like brownie points for that. You do, but this time, since you brought me in, I got you nice geodes. Where are they from? Los Choyas, Mexico, Chihuahua. That's a cheese, you know that? That's also a dot. It's also a dot. I'm pretty sure it's the name of a cheese, too. I didn't know it was the name of a cheese, well, actually. Well, we'll figure that out. They are called coconut geodes. Why are they? Uh, because they typically have the hollow. And mm. so the ones that we have will be, you'll have some that will have a lot of agate to them, some will be more hollow than others. Uh, you can get quartz, smoky quartz, sometimes amethyst. Uh, sometimes the uh, agate can be blue, uh, gray, different colors. Uh, I've seen calcite, gertite, hematite, apatite, little stalactites, calcite, all sorts of crazy stuff of in appetite? there. A pretty big appetite. <laughs> Get it? Get it? <sighs> they come from about 100 feet underground. That's There's actually quite... a layer of clay. And what they have to do is they have to get in that layer of clay, find the little nodules in the geodes, and then uh, before they sell them, they actually weigh them to try to gauge basically how hollow they are before they sell them. But we have no idea what's actually inside. So this is going to be... An uncracking. An uncracking. And I think we should start doing more uncracking. So what do you think oh, about Oh, absolutely. The... Let's set the setup. Three, one, two, two, one. one. All right, this looks a little different, don't you think? Uh, a little bit. So this is a pipe Hot cutter. So here's what's gonna happen today, guys. We are um, gonna bring in some friends here at JTV and they actually purchased mm -hmm. a geode and they wanna see what it looks like. So Christopher's gonna crack it open because I am not gonna be able to do that. So we're gonna bring in our first guest. Um, his name is Robert. You can correct me if I'm wrong, that over the course of Robert's tenure here at JTV, he's developed a love of gemstones. Am I right? You could say that. Okay, yeah. so Robert, say hi to the camera. Hey, camera. Hey, but first, <laughs> uh, before we move forward, just remember we've got other great videos that are actually coming down the pipeline. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna need everyone watching right now to like, subscribe and make sure you ring that bell. We've got some really cool content coming out. We've got a great crack team of gemologists and awesome creatives here working to make an awesome um, episode come your way. So you don't want to miss out. So let's take a closer look right here. Guys, this is, I mean, literally if you were hiking around Mexico, it's not going to look that exciting. So we hope that there's something really beautiful and exciting in. But this is my cue. I'm gonna let you step in. All right. And we're gonna crack a geode open. Let's Christopher, may the you. force be with you. Uh, uh, uh. And I will be back in a few minutes. I um, am a little afraid of loud noises. Loud noises! So to use uh, one of these, you're gonna try to gauge the aesthetics of the final cut piece. So since we've got a nice symmetrical area this way, I'm gonna go for cutting it like this. Okay. Uh, sometimes you wanna cut them more, like if you want a bigger hollow, sometimes you can cut it that way. Uh, but I think this one's gonna split very, very nicely right here. And I think it's gonna give a good profile from either side. Christopher, I, I trust your judgment. <laughs> All right, so basically you just uh, turn it here. Okay. Get it nice and tight. Sometimes it's a little tricky adjusting the changes, right? And you're gonna listen for the sound of it starting to crack. Yeah, we, we're shedding there we go. some. Hear that first sound. Oh God. Now I'm not a gambling betting man, and I I assume you're not either, but what color do you think is gonna it's gonna be in there? I like bluish white for a lot of them. Okay. Typically gray, but sometimes you can get a nice blue, and that's really good to see. Let's see. Oh my god. You're really putting a squeeze on it. Wow, that went further than <laughs> I thought it was gonna go. Oh, nice. Wow, look at that. Actually, some quite good crystals in there. I'd have to agree, I'm pretty jazzed about that. That's really nice, nice large crystals. Uh, what's really cool on this one, I don't know if you can see it. There's, a, there's just some nice texture 
Nice little pocket there. Wow. It looks like you may have some calcite down here as well. Oh, I love me some calcite. So here we've got a nice banding of chalcedony here. Not a little bit of bands here, so a little bit of agate here, but it's uh, yeah, a little agate here as well. That'll show up really nice if you have it polished. Large quartz crystals and a tiny little pocket of uh, calcite down there with some, uh, most likely some iron in it, which is giving it a little bit of a reddish color. Very, sure. very cool one. Yeah, I like the the smaller like the crystals, that. the more glittery it becomes down in the in the center of You've the. Got some really there. really large crystals in there, which is nice. Next, hey Kennedy. Hello, <laughs> I've got another geo what you got? for us to crack. So uh, this is Kennedy, and what is it that you do? I am the digital content strategist here at JTV. Awesome. So you will like you know make sure everybody knows about our videos. And stuff. Yes, we post, we tweet. We Instagram, we do all the stuff. Cool. What are you hoping to find in your rock? I'm hoping for some like pink, sparkly, big quartz, maybe? I haven't seen pink. I've seen amethyst, but I don't think I've seen pink quartz. Uh, I have actually seen rainbow, like one or two pieces that I've ever seen uh, actually had an iridescent coating on the uh, on the quartz, and that's one that I would love to see today, just because it's that. really, really cool. Let's we'll see what's in it. Okay, wait, All do right. I need my protective? Definitely, get the protective glasses All right, here on. we go. So one of the things I did with yours here yeah. is I, I put it on the table and rolled it around a little bit, and it wanted to settle with this point down, so I'm gonna crack it in this direction because I feel it's more solid on the bottom than it is on the top. I like that plan, let's do that. So. I'm bracing for impact. A lot of energy in that. <laughs> oh, very oh. nice. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. It's got Absolutely the nice blue. Beautiful. No pink, but I love no, it. No, there's almost, I almost think I'm seeing a hint of purple. Not like, uh, there's, when you look at it like that, yeah, like it almost the seems like there's a hint of some color in there. But a lot of I nice agree. crystal. Love it. really nice guy. I kind of like this pattern going up right here. And what did I say? It felt like it was more solid on one yeah, area than it was yeah, the other. Yeah. So that that's sense. one of the things when you're looking at your geodes and you're trying to figure out the position, feel them because they're going to be balanced based on where the material is. And you can sometimes feel on which side of the geode that hollow is going to be. So very nice. So lovely. you got a lot of really nice quartz, a lot of really nice chalcedony. And I love mm -hmm. actually the way the matrix stone looks there. Again, if you mm -hmm. get this one polished, trade you. Mm -hmm. If you get this one polished, that's going to look really good. So how old do you think this is? Uh, these are between 25 and 32 million years old. Oh, okay. That's pretty mm -hmm. old. Pretty old. There you cool. go. Cool. Yay. Enjoy. Thank you. Sure. All right. Next up, Rebecca. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Hello. I'm ready. Are you ready? And uh, before we start, though, everybody wants to know what it is you do. I'm on the social team at JTV. We work to bring great content to people like you. I'm excited to crack it open. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at this one. I don't expect much color. I actually really like neutrals, so I'm actually looking forward to maybe seeing some whites and off-white, some more clear colors. This part reminds me, you know how when you go up a roller coaster, and it's that, like a wooden roller, and you, like the anticipation is killing it. That is exactly That sound, it. yep. Whoa! Oh nice. my gosh! You've got the neutral brown. Smoky. Beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfectly even. So this one was actually more hollow than I expected. It's a little bit more solid on this side, but it really felt like about a third of it was gonna be solid on this one, so I missed the mark on that one. It does maybe a little thicker underneath yeah. this way, but uh, yeah, wow, that one's really, oh, really nice. I love that. You got nice banding right around the outside. You've got more of a gray calcedony here. Now you can see almost a little bit of the calcite. So remember these form in a clay. Um, so you get a lot of different minerals around in there and you're getting, I think, a little bit of calcite all around the edges outside of the uh, agate on this one. Right here, the mm -hmm. brown? Yeah, yeah, these, these little brown parts are. It's a calcite. Oh, I love that. And it's actually, you've got, oh, this is beautiful. This is actually calcite right in here in this little pocket. So you've got a tiny little bit of calcite tucked down right in there. Do you think it, the growth connects to the calcite it's out possibly, here? It's possibly, yeah, that, that's most likely actually where it came into the pocket right there. Let me see your side here, trade me. Here. Yeah, it looks just like that one little pocket of calcite. And one of the things you want to do later is to check that and see if it fluoresces, because it may very well. Oh, I'll do that. Oh, I love that. It's a beautiful one. Thanks, Christopher. You're welcome. 
All right, you folks have met Elizabeth before, but we have another geologist in house who runs our lab, and that is Mr. Caleb. How's it going? <laughs> good, good. So I already told them a little bit of what you do, but uh, what kind of equipment do you run in our uh, lab? So I run a lot of spectrometers in our lab, anything that you would typically see at any sort of um, identification laboratory. Very cool. Now, sometimes these can twin off, so it's actually possible if I split that off, that that could be something in there, but I don't think it's thick enough to really show anything, so I think the best way to do would be to go straight down the middle here. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Not as much of a void as the other ones, but still yeah. good. Now, one of the things, these look really, really good when you polish them up. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wow, there, there you go. go. Yeah, there that's, you that's go. The side. Yeah, you've got some nice big crystals in there. Nice blue, nice kind of gunmetal, a little bit more grayish. Not as strong a blue, but that's again gonna polish up really well. And I was right, so we did have a little bit of an extra here, but nothing that would have actually been a pocket, so it wouldn't have really been worth splitting that off. But yeah. rarely seen some that you actually can. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, Let me trade sides. Yeah. You gotta look in the pockets too, because sometimes you'll get some interesting, like I think you got oh, yeah, a little, a little piece bit. of girtite right there. Yeah, yeah, right there too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And especially when you polish this up a little bit, this is gonna look really nice because those crystals will really come to life when you get a good polish on them as well. Very cool. Awesome, thank you, Christopher. Absolutely. All right, so now uh, I'm missing my normal host. It's gotta be around here somewhere. All and right. Natalie's back. I'm back. And you bought this, but you're gonna let me crack it? Do you want to crack it? Can I try it? Yeah, absolutely. Care? I am really, I really want to see the iridescent coating more than anything. That was been, that's been my favorite thing that I've seen in just about any. I'd love to see a nail head calcite. That's where you get kind of a calcite stalactite coming up. And at the end of the calcite, uh, calcite stalactite, it flattens out like a nail head. Those are really, really cool. Remember the last time that we did this, I like it popped out. And I screamed. Nice. That was a little perfect. anti. That was a little anticlimactic. That was perfect. Look, so when you when you did it more like that, you got like a really really nice edge. That's wow, really good banding. I love the druzy. There's a nice little piece of calcite on there. I'm happy this to is see. All for you, Christopher. Woohoo! What a fun day. Very fun. We need to do this more often. Let's see what's on this side. Um, well, hey, so today was definitely an adventure. We see um, some really beautiful colors, great banding, great druzy. Yeah. I hope our guests had some fun as well. Yes. So we have some really great episodes coming up in the future and we don't want you to miss out. For all of you gemstone, jewelry, and mineral specimen lovers, mm -hmm. um, we hope that you enjoyed today's episode. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. We have some really awesome stuff coming down the pipeline at JTV and we want to be able to share it with you. Um, big thank you to Christopher. You always have such great ideas. Why, thank you. So we need to, I think, end this episode, wrap it on up, and I think I've got to clean up the set so we can get back to work. <laughs> We've been a mess. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for everyone involved today, and we'll catch you later. Adios. Adios.